How important is it for the studio to stay somewhat diversified, not just become the fully focused anthem only studio moving into the future? It's incredibly important. I mean, we have a team uh, working on Dragon Age now, uh, and I think it's incredibly important that we don't become uh, just one note. I think some of the things that are coming, um, just in the way that we're doing things in BioWare and the way that EA is working and the industry is going, I think it is starting to afford the opportunity for us to do some, some things that are more experimental. I would like to get to a place where, yes, we're doing our big next thing, but maybe we're also kind of doing a few experiments. Like I want to get to where we can kind of do the equivalent of like getting short films out there to people and saying like, hey, we've got a bunch of things that we want to, we want to just creative ideas we want to get out. And so, hey, try this piece and have a look at this thing and kind of see what people like, partly because that's a lot of fun. There's there's a lot of people here that have ideas that they want to get out that you just don't always want to wait for the next big thing. And I think there's opportunity um, going forward for uh, AAA publishers to to maybe start diversifying the scale of their games, start making big things that are that are that are you know big huge experiences, but also maybe starting to deliver some smaller experiences that are intended to be consumed more quickly, designed to be smaller. Yeah, do you think that's influenced at all by the crazy success of kind of a retro CRPG trend in the game industry? Is it is it connected in your mind? Um, I think it, it is. It's interesting because I think there are things that people can do in the indie space that are kind of off limits in the HD space just because people's expectations rise with the with not just the budgets but just with the studio. I think there's there's a middle ground. I've heard it called AAA indie, but which is that sort of high production value but still smaller scale, smaller budget. There's a f only very few games that exist in in that space right now. And I think there's an opportunity for more uh, uh, AAA stuff to be in there. I always think it was interesting when Rockstar did table tennis and then, you know, you have movie studios that will will put out maybe a short film because they know that they they want to try and go in a certain direction and but they just want to kind of get an idea out and then later you see that developed into a whole movie or a whole IP. And I think there's value in that um, partly for the uh, staff that get to work on those things but also because um, you just you just don't know and you can't guarantee what is going to really resonate with people. And more and more we just want to have a dialogue with fans and say like hey you know here's an idea like we 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 tried this out, we think this could be really cool, what do you think? And, and those smaller things might be a way for us to, to get towards those things. Anthem is definitely a game where we've tried to be a game for the future, yeah. uh, but I think there's a, I think an opportunity for Bioware to be doing both, to be making games that are true to the core part of our core and games that explore new parts of the audience like Anthem does. Yeah.